Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing, I'll call it four and a half um, Halloween DIY crafts, only because the last one is like kind of, there's not a lot of effort in the last one for sure. But anyways, the um, we're gonna be doing a bunch of little Halloween crafts. So the first one I'm gonna start off with is an iron-on purse. Let's get into that one. All right, so this tote bag I got from Target and I just want to customize it with a couple of patches. So these are all the patches I have. Right now I'm just going through all of the patches that I have and figuring out what kind of theme and vibe I'm going through. And yes, both of my cats decided to check in on me during this process. Now I'm all ready to iron them on. I'm using the Cricut Easy Press Mini. I'm not a big Cricut fan, but this is the only little iron tool I have. And I took a picture of my template, so I'm gonna be referencing that. As you can see, Sunny was especially curious about this whole ironing process, and it was kind of a process for me. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't ironed on any patches since I was in the Girl Scouts in the second grade. So, I was really trying to figure this out using different like shirts and fabrics to put on top and I couldn't figure out why my patch was not sticking and it's because there was a plastic backing that I forgot to pull off. So here is your little PSA reminder. If you are ironing on patches, make sure that there is, if there is a plastic backing, make sure you pull it, that thing off. So here, this is after I figured it out and it was ironing on much easier now. After I firmly ironed on all of the patches to the front, I decided to flip the bag inside out and then iron them on the back as well. I thought it would be easier to do this all at once rather than individually flipping it inside out each time I added on a new patch. The next item that I'm going to be customizing is this little gnome plant pick that I have. And I actually posted a, um, a poll on my Instagram story. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Emmy Luna with two A's, just like the channel. I will have it linked below.
The next thing that we're going to be customizing is this spell book box. Um, it's just a little book box and I got it from the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to make the book cover a little more custom. This is the original book box that I purchased and for this DIY I uh, used a combination of stickers and paper and I also wanted to use some ribbon because I really don't use ribbon in my crafts a lot but I've got a ton of ribbon in my craft stash so I need to start implementing it more. I love how this book box turned out. I think it's super cute and I love the layering effect that I did with the stickers and the ribbon. I think it's honestly something that I could leave out all year round. The next thing that I'm going to be customizing or DIYing is these mini jack-o'-lantern buckets and I just bought a couple of succulents from H-E-B today and we're going to be putting them into these cute little jack-o'-lanterns. Now, sorry, my little cat, Sunny. Hey, baby, come here. All right, now for the last craft, we're gonna be doing, <laughs> this is the, the one that only counts for half. Um, I'm taking a candle and I'm basically just burning it out and then using it as like a cute little dish. So I'll show y'all that whole process if you've ever wanted to empty a candle out all the way. I debated back and forth between never lighting this candle and burning it out and using it as a decoration. And at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm a candle girl. I'm always going to light my candles no matter what. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, and it did take a few nights um, to go through and burn it all. Finally, once it was all burnt down, I turned the sink water all the way to hot and I just got a knife and started kind of picking out all of the specks of wax. Then I soaked it in some soap um, for a couple of hours and I was able to dry out the inside and I turned it into this cute little pencil holder. Thank y'all so much for watching. It would mean a lot to me if you could like and comment and subscribe. That really helps to boost my video to the algorithm and get it out so that more people can see it. So yes, if you enjoyed the video, then please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll be back next week with another video. I do post videos every single week, sometimes twice a week. So make sure to have those notifications on to get notified every time I post.